Viewer discretion is advised. The lieutenant looked around her spacious room, yet she couldn't shake off her newfound sense of claustrophobia. She saw glimpses of melting faces on the wall, wailing at her. She looked at the dark corner and shuddered at the image of the abomination she encountered deep under the sea where light cannot reach, a tentacle emerging from an endless pit dragging her down. The wall of teeth was all she could see until a brief darkness and then another vision of hell continued to torment her. Everything was still so vivid in her mind and in her body, something was starting to grow. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Keter class object, SCP-835. SCP-835, also known as expunged data released, appears to be a large mass of coral-like polyps. The individual polyps are larger than any known coral species. The central mass is roughly oval-shaped, with a very large polyp at each end. It is incapable of locomotion, and appears to anchor itself with the large tentacles projected from its polyps, which are also used in feeding. The tentacles are extremely strong, as they have proven to be capable of damaging steel plates. Testing has shown that 835 appears to be made from basic human biological components, with the shell being formed from super-dense calcium, the caps that cover the polyps coated with tooth enamel, and the tentacles appearing to be formed from mutated tongue cells. 835 excrete a large mass of semi-liquid material several times a day from its large polyps on each end. The excretion is made up of semi-digested solids and fecal material. This mass of matter contains a bacterium, 835-I5, which poses major concern for containment due to its role in the reproductive cycle of 835. Any animal or human infected with it will undergo several symptoms, most notably the formation of polyps on the skin and rapid reduction in intelligence. At the end stage, the infected subject will convert into another instance of 835. There is no treatment once infection starts, and MTF Zeta Niner found that out the hard way. A four-person team was dispatched to investigate 835, with Lieutenant C as the team leader. Sergeants L and M served as support, and Corporal H, a rookie who joined as an observer. They were tethered to a ship on topside with cables so they wouldn't get lost underwater. At first, 835 didn't act in a hostile manner, allowing the team to make contact without incident. A standard underwater remote vehicle, or URV, was sent to collect tissue samples of the object, while Lieutenant C and the sergeants proceeded towards what they believed to be the entrance. Corporal H remained to monitor the URV's progress. While the rest were approaching the opening, Lieutenant C heard the corporal's cry for help coming from the URV's direction. They turned around and saw Corporal H's arm was entangled by a tentacle. It was dragging him towards a mouth-like opening on a polyp. Topside tried winching in Corporal H's cable to save him but it was no match for the tentacle's sheer strength as it began to drag him towards 835's mouth. Eventually, the cable broke, but Lieutenant C managed to grab the corporal's hand. Inch by inch, she could feel that she was losing the tug of war. Oh God, Lieutenant, it's eating me. I don't want to die. Help me, please. As the mouth opened wider, the tentacle that came from within the irregular fleshy wall of teeth tightened around his arm causing the corporal to break down and scream in pain. Lieutenant C shouted at him to calm down and told him that they would get him out of there. Command on topside hastily ordered the team to abort the mission and started to winch the rest of the team back up. Lieutenant quickly reached for a carabiner and hooked herself with Corporal H. Despite command's repeated order, she wouldn't let go. Her cable pulled at her and then she felt a jerk as the cable broke allowing the tentacle to drag both the corporal and the lieutenant into its mouth. Her hands clawed against the hard wall of teeth and tried to grab hold of them, but to no avail. The tentacle dragged them past the teeth and let go of them as they arrived at 835's intestines. The muscles contracted around them, moving them down slowly, towards where they have no idea. They couldn't move, not even a single muscle. If it weren't for their hard suits, the compression would have crushed and flattened them into an unrecognizable mess. It was pitch black in the tube, 
They could only see each other's faces in the illuminated helmet and hear their own breathing over the gurgling noises. After about 24 hours, they were finally out of 835's intestines and had reached its stomach. There, the gurgling noises were louder with the occasional crunching sounds. They turned on their flashlights, allowing Lieutenant C to notice their suits were giving out hissing sounds and their gloves were degrading. The walls were lined with teeth and faces. Hundreds of human faces were wailing and screaming at them, begging to be killed. Upon seeing such abomination, Lieutenant C briefly lost her composure and started firing at the heads. Corporal H shouted at her to calm down and shoved her into an opening nearby. Through it, they arrived at another hell. The faces on the walls now were filled with acid and various rotting human parts strewn across the floor. Come on, Lieutenant, we're almost out of here. Let's go. The corporal helped her back up on her feet as she began to faint. He spotted another opening nearby, but the flesh surrounding it had puckered up tight. They tried to pry it open, but it wouldn't budge. They figured that it was probably an exit that would take them out of 835, so they decided to wait. As they settled down, <sighs> Lieutenant C noticed something about Corporal H had changed. There was a hole in the back of the corporal's leg, which was probably dissolved by the acid. She quickly put a patch on it and told him that it was nothing to worry about. But what she didn't tell him was that certain red polyps were growing all over his face until one of the polyps burst and splattered blood all over his faceplate. He started screaming, begging Lieutenant C to kill him. Her shaking hand put the gun against his faceplate and pulled the trigger, but a single click was all she got. She had used up all her ammo on 835's faces. Suddenly, a tentacle burst out of Corporal H's face. It seized Lieutenant C immediately, but she managed to wrestle it away and push the infected corporal away from her. The tentacle wasn't as strong as the one they had encountered outside of 835. It writhed at the lieutenant as it started to melt. By then, what was once the corporal has taken on a grotesque form. The tentacle was writhing around the polyp which had occupied a huge portion of his face. Still, he struggled to maintain his humanity and his intelligence was declining rapidly. At last, he mustered up what's left of his sanity. He smiled and said, I love you. Lieutenant C screamed and then forcefully ejected out of 835 along with its digested matter. She was retrieved back to the ship, but it didn't end there. When she got back, she realized that her suit was breached. Nobody noticed until she was in her room and saw the polyps started to grow all over her. She was infected. She locked her room and in her report she requested command to leave her and evacuate the ship abandon it on top of the insertion site so she can sink with it and be together with Corporal H. He would have liked it that way, she thought. One last act of intimacy, why not? And went to sleep before she would become another instance of 835, a fate worse than death. Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber Talks, where I share my life story, thoughts, and opinions. Just click on the link in the description to enter the rubber's world. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces of fan art. A big thank you to all of you. You can now send us your fan art, and we will be more than happy to show off your best art piece in our next video. Check out our description below on how to submit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Which SCP do you want to see in the next video and why it is interesting? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.